Hi everyone, it's Lucy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you the truth about carbs. Are they good for you? Are they bad for you? Should you ban them and never eat carbs in your life again? Carbohydrates have been getting quite the bad press lately and low carb diets are on the rise. Because of this, many people are actually confused about how beneficial carbs are to their health. The truth is, carbohydrates are actually an important part of your diet. If you choose the right carbs, of course. So what are these benefits and which carbs should you eat? So first of all, maybe not everyone knows what carbs are. Carbohydrates are one of the three very important macronutrients for your diet along proteins and fats. And essentially they're just a chain of sugars that come together to make an even bigger chain. The carbs you find in foods can be put into three groups. You have sugar, which are simple chains such as glucose. You have starch that are longer chains and you have fiber which are even longer chains that humans can't digest. Carbohydrates are a source of nutrient for the body and also they compose some of its molecules. You can find carbs in fruit, legumes, starches and all kinds of cakes and cookies. Carbs should make up about 50% of your daily calorie intake. So for example, if you eat 2000 calories, then 1,000 of them should come from carbs. Since one gram of carbs contains four calories, in order to get 1,000 calories of carbs, you should be eating 250 grams of carbs. But of course, this is different and varies for each person. So now, what are the good and the bad carbs? Not all carbohydrates are the same, which is certainly where all the confusion concerning their health impacts stems from. There are two types of carbs, basically whole carbs and refined carbs. Some also refer to them as complex and simple, but I prefer whole and refined. If you want to know why, you can check out my blog article about that in the description. Basically, whole carbs are the unprocessed carbs that contain all the healthy, nutritious aspects of carbs. They can mainly be found in fruit, beans, nuts, and whole grain foods. Now, refined carbs have had most of their healthy fiber and nutrients removed. They are quickly digested and they have a high glycemic index, which means that they will spike your blood sugar and your insulin. They're found in basically anything with table sugar, such as candy, cake, cookies, soda, while you should limit your intake of refined carbs, whole carbs are actually very good for you and should be eaten at every meal. What are the health benefits of carbohydrates? Carbohydrates should be your body's main source of energy. They provide fuel for your cells so that your muscles and your brain can function. Your brain depends on glucose to thrive. If you disrupt the normal metabolism of glucose, that is potentially dangerous and could lead to the development of brain disorders. Again, sources are in my blog post. Fiber is a type of whole carb that cannot be digested by humans, but it is still very beneficial because your gut bacteria can make fatty acids from them and they can reduce inflammation. If you want to know more about the importance of a healthy gut and gut bacteria, then check out the article I wrote about that in the description. Also, consuming fruit and vegetables, which many of them are rich in carbs, is very beneficial to your health. Whole grain foods protect against the development of type 2 diabetes. Whole grain consumption is also associated with lower mortality in both men and women. In addition, if you're not getting enough carbohydrates, it could impact your mood. In one study, people who ate a high carb, low fat diet had a greater improvement in aspects such as mood disturbance, anger, hostility, confusion, and depression compared to individuals who ate a high fat, low carb diet. Finally, a review of 17 studies showed that a low carb diet was associated with a higher risk of all cause mortality, so not consuming enough carbs can actually be harmful. So now the question that so many people are asking themselves is, do carbs make you gain weight? The idea that carbohydrates are fattening is really Really hard to shake off and this maybe stems from the effect that carbs have on insulin so when you eat your pancreas secretes insulin in order to regulate the sugar in your blood the more carbs you consume the more insulin you will have to secrete in order to use up all of the sugar and insulin is also a fat burning suppressant however it only does that because it would rather use the carbohydrates that are available for energy 
instead of burning into the fat storage. If you were to eat the same amount of calories and fat than in carbohydrates, then your body would also use those fats instead of using the fats that you already stored. This is super, super simplified, but it should maybe give you a basic idea of why carbs don't actually make you gain weight. Also, insulin promotes storage of the excess carbs in your bloodstream, but that's only if you over consume calories. Of course, if you consume too many carbs, too many calories, then it's going to be stored in the form of fat. So this doesn't really have anything to do with carbs. It's just eating too many calories. Of course, if you're diabetic, that is not the same situation. If you consume carbs and then have to take insulin, that could lead to weight gain. But that is of course a different situation to discuss with your doctor. Whole carbs are really beneficial to your health, like I said earlier, and carbs such as fiber, which you can find in fruits or in whole grains, can actually reduce weight gain and fat gain by reducing your appetite. However, despite the health benefits of carbohydrates, of course there's a few limits I would like to mention. Refined carbs lack nutrients and can actually have negative effects on your health. For instance, they can encourage the development development of type 2 diabetes. Therefore, you really should try to limit refined carbs and replace them with whole healthy carbs. And of course, for some people, limiting their carb intake is going to be better for them. That is something that everyone has to figure out. But for the general public, carbs, good carbs, whole carbs are healthy. And of course, individuals with diabetes should limit their carb intake and follow an appropriate diet. So to sum up, carbs are a very important source of energy for your body and should make up an important part of your diet. Of course, this means eating whole carbs and nutrient dense carbs with high fiber instead of refined carbs. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and hopefully see you on my next one. Bye.